Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Na furai kuona, furai kuona hivi yetu ongonda kwenye sana imani. Tujuana ongonda tukiwa watoto wachanga. Tujuana tu kama watoto. Tutangu tu wazee kwa muda tujakutana tukutana kwa mazishi ya mtoto wa Lucas na ni kapitana sana bwana asifiwe amen so karibu sana ndugu yangu Mungu akubariki sana now last week i was not with you siku ya 8 nilikuwa nimesafiri kuelekea sehemu za magharibi kwa mazishi pia ile nuruka sasema mimi pia nilipata msiba kaenda kuzika ndugu ya baba yangu ambaye ndiye alikuwa amebaki pamoja na baba <coughs> Bwana asifiwe. Amen. So tulimaliza vizuri na they came back safely. They thank God. Eh maybe after my testimony I'll sit down and welcome the speaker today. So I want to say this. All the people wale wale wote walikuwa na uhudhuria class ya evangelism. I don't know if I send messages to all the people. I don't know if there is anyone who received my message that the uh, the teachers wameuliza kwamba tuwapatie kila mmoja apeane topics zile alikosa the topics you missed so that wawe na make a class so that graduation ifanyike because graduation na yes fanyika bila meka so we need to present those topics tomorrow those are the instructions i received tomorrow we need to present the, the topics and also you need to give your telephone number so that uh, they are able to contact you contact you nasema contact eh? not contact contact <laughs> they are able to contact you and uh, organize with you when you can be available so that they can come so i hope i'm going to be given today so that in uh, two million cash of them when i see them i missed two classes and i know which topics i missed i hope all of us know the topics we missed if you want upset so you give us today when i see them when i see them Um, I just want to give a small testimony of, uh, of these children that God has given me, <coughs> has given us. Born as a few. I have once testified here that the Niyomba Mungu Bibi is your. I want to say my excuse to you, but by praying God that I should not get married. Ni wetu kama Paul na Peter yeye yeye. But God said no. God said no. <clears throat> Mungu alisema no. And then when I was praying, I remember niliona mkono nimesema mbele yangu nimesema no. Nikasikia sauti nimesema no. Nikasema mpaka uoe. Nimuuliza Jesus sasa uoe akaniambia ni Jesus. Reason zingine ni very personal, siwezi kuambia. <laughs> well, as if you then I stay in the Kabia Mungu now if you want me to marry then I will never go looking for a guy never I will never then he said to me yes never usiju usijaribu kujitafutia waje nikutafutie lakini ukijitafutia utajuta as what he said to me so I never bothered in my life with girls. I told you is as one but for me hakuna siku aliona nikileta msichana nyumbani. At girlfriend. Never. Vijana wenzangu walifanya hivyo. Eh, mpaka wazazi wanajua hapa nina ndume. Mimi mimi nijulikana msichana. Hata mama yangu alikuwa na confessor anasema kwamba mimi siku zao wavulana ni zao wasichana. Mimi nilikuwa mjawa nilikuwa msichana. Bwana asifiwe. 
Because they never saw me to find a bit via Mulana on a bike. And you want to come on to put you on your own straight when I was through. Then it reached a time God spoke to me, said, Now it's time. I want to get you a girl. It's a long story. <clears throat> but eventually he gave me a girl. The name Grace. And uh, I proceeded to her the, 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 the message that God had given to me. And I told her, I'm not telling you to say yes. I'm asking you to go and pray. And uh, after much prayer, confirmations came through other brothers. Okareta confirmations. And she also confirmed because she was very prayerful then. I don't know if she's praying, still prayerful today. <laughs> but then she was so prayerful. <laughs> and God could speak to her. So she confirmed. <clears throat> then uh, after that, it took seven years to get married. Can you imagine? It took seven years to get married. And when the seventh year came, heaven spoke. Heaven spoke and said, now it's time you get married. God never forgets what he does. Eh? He never forgets. So heaven spoke after the seventh year to go to the Bitya Kafka Handel's Nyingi from brethren who through whom God confirmed. But the Bita Bikaanza Tena Bikali San. So it took seven years to get married. And the seventh year the Lord spoke from heaven. So it's time to get married now. Then ask God, how? How am I going to get married? You know, I've got so many advices. Even my own father. I've got many beers. I have many beers. I have many beers. I but they are they are ways designed by God for every individual. Right? So when when God when my father advised me so, I asked God, now God, what shall I do? Put into consideration that I had no money, so if I could think of a wedding, I didn't have any coin in my hand. And God said to me, the same man, Panga committee. Panga committee, I'm sure we can do it. And uh, foolishly, somebody said, Shippishly. <laughs> Sheepishly, I called some brothers I knew. Brother Edward was one of them. He's here. And I called them and I told them my mind. Makasema, leave the burden to us. Remember, I was coming to a very poor church. Very poor. Poorer than this church. This church is very rich. Yeni <laughs> tuja But I'm um, it was a very poor church in the slums of Madari. So you can imagine the slums of Madari. After when I go and now go Madari is masking, see you. Ah ah, when I matter here you go, you know I'm in the future. But uh, that's how the situation was. So nobody I could imagine could stand with me financially. They could stand with me only. In the brain, spiritual. You could stand with me spiritual, but not material. <laughs> you know, there are times when you need to stand with somebody material. But this one could only stand with me spiritual. So the committee that I had said struggled. In the meantime, I went to her church where she was. 
And uh, those people were so receptive. I could say her church was a bit better than mine. <laughs> so somebody would wonder why you want to move from a, a good church to a poor church. <coughs> anyway, truth and same one to a quarter quart one. So <coughs> to cut the long story short, the wedding was done so successfully, and Tom attended that wedding. <coughs> I, could, I saw just a very tall man standing next to me saying, next year is me. And I wondered, what is this man telling me? Little, little did I know, the told the taker, the younger sister. So, so what happened? happened? The following year, Niliimba kwa arusi ya tomu mpaka mati ikaisha kwenye. So, 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 long story short, uh, immediately, Mare, you want me to sing the song, my son? A little bit. I didn't sing now. Those times is right. <laughs> Now, <coughs> immediately after we married, let me go back there. Immediately after we married, after the wedding, heaven spoke again. I think it was a day after. A day after the wedding, I think. Heaven spoke. And the voice said from heaven, Four children. Say it again. Four children. Two boys, two girls. And then he said, the boys will come first. The girls, the girls will come second. As I said, my intention was just about two, that's enough. Just two enough. Uh, being a teacher, I knew the day they would bring up one child. Only child. This is very dangerous. <coughs> so I wanted just two for parts, so that we will balance, we will your balance. But heaven said four children, four children, two boys, two girls. So I told them, heaven is saying four children, two boys, two girls. Boys will come first. You know, we thank God for God uh, uh, for giving us ladies. Ladies can remember things. This one now make us out. Ladies can remember every detail. So it, sometimes she narrated to me the whole detail how I narrated the prophecy, and I uh, was really shocked. <coughs> so we got to the alitangaza yo bimi kanyamaza. So we kafika siku. Akashika mima. Na bingu tena ikasema. Mtoto wa kiumi tazaliwa. Na tabia yake ni hii. Na hii. Na hii. So the main thing I saw in that boy who was not yet born was one, he will be, out, be outgoing. Jonah you want to He will be outgoing. Then second thing, he will be, he will love music. I remember I told the mama John, mtoto ambayo utazaa atapenda mziki sana. Was the prophecy fulfilled? Bwana yes. asifiwe. <coughs> John loves music. And they play guitar. In this church, you have seen him play guitar. He loves music. And he's outgoing. And I fikia watu ambao mimi mwenyewe zuwezi fikia. Tukia tu, ah, I talked it to so and so, na shanga, ah, ulifika di uko. Second point, I was told he'd be reserved, a reserved boy. Is he reserved? Yes. Wezi juwa kama mekasirika, wezi juwa kama mfrai, akotua. Mbaka sometimes we mistake him for being uh, unhappy, when he's really happy. Sasa sisi wazazi tumejifunza pole pole sasa tumemjua. Tumemjua sasa. Akiwa hivi, 
katika sekta ukiona hivi angara sasa tumefunza bwana asifiwe amen then girls they are second they are at the girls i hope <laughs> let me tell you one thing <clears throat> the reason why i wanted to give you this this testimony Uh, God speaks and when God appoints you as a purpose, as a reason for all this. When uh, tulipata msichana watatu, kwa mtoto watatu, nilisema it better stops here. I'm aging, the almost, almost retiring. I don't want to leave John with my burdens. Stay with John my burdens. Anze kusomesha mtoto wangu. No, I don't want that. Little did I know kuna mtu na tesa na huwa mzi wangu so ni tesa mtu ni tesa there are some circumstances ambazo mama John alipitia ndani baso yeye tu anaweza kueleza very difficult circumstances ambazo alipitia ndani little did I know I was the cause because I was resisting I was resisting the fourth child So until again heaven spoke to me and reminded me that prophecy then I had to repent my sins and ask God for forgiveness then it was fulfilled so I hope God is now satisfied when I see you when I see you so God now is satisfied for 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 children two boys two girls God can perform miracles. He plans your way before. He plans your future. He himself knows what is ahead and he plans the future. I was really shocked he gave me the characters of those children who came first. And before they were born, I was told who they will, who they are, and I can see those characteristics in them today. And I just imagine and say, really God is a true God. He does not lie. So people who say that Mungu alikuwa anazungumza zamani siku hizi azungumzi, I look at them and I really understand that they have never been in connection with God. Hawajakutana naye. Wakutana naye watajua kwamba he spoke he still speaks today. He will speak tomorrow. He is a God who speaks. He is not a dead God. So if you dedicate your life to him, if you dedicate your life to him, he will direct your steps. He will direct your steps. He will show you where to go and he will plan your future before you reach there. That is the God we serve. When as if you. So please let us serve this God. Because a true God, He has spoken to me. I've seen what He speaks come true. Naona matokeo ya neno la anapo tamka neno kwangu naona limetokea. It may take years, may take years, but it will suddenly come to fulfillment. When I say, Lord, I will not choose, choose for me. He said, Yes, I'll choose for you. Then it took years. What to what to what to what to kwa village ile natoka walisema huyu aliyakuka na madeni najua kuna kitu kibaya kama mwanaume kusemekana aliyakuka na madeni eh hiyo watu ni flood ni don't want to hear what has it do so people lost hope in me even parents lost hope they lost hope kabisa kaona huyu mtu but i was waiting for him who said and the day, the day he came and spoke it all happened as he said what has he feel and today all of them wamefunga the door so let us trust that god because he's a living god what has he feel The God I serve, I know is a living God and he speaks 
He will speak today, he will speak tomorrow, he will speak in future. And he can organize your future and make it happen. Buon asifio. So, without going into much, I want to welcome the Sabbath of God, Brother Edward Mulan, at the 10th of the world. Thank you.